Uh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna go for Countdown Ridge. It is new with Advanced Edition. Okay. We shape the weather patterns over the island so our solar farms can harvest sunlight 12 hours a day. But to do that, the farms need to remain standing. So defend solar farms, sure. Oof. Are they 1 HP? How does that look? I can't, I can't tell. Oh no, I can. They have one grid power, so I'm assuming 1 HP. A bit scary. Gonna lurk a bit? All right. Uh, enjoy your lurk. So you're 2 HP. Everything else has more, but it's, it's still a good lightning punch, I guess. I'll go ahead and put you up in the middle. Hopefully they'll converge around you a bit. This can be... I think over here. I think we like this side better. Why would I like this side better? Being able to pull them into this area, I guess. And not get pinned against water. It's kind of a thought. And then you... I guess we don't want you all the way back. You can move three tiles. Okay, I'll put you right here so you can get all the way to the edge if they're over there for some weird reason. Okay, these can just move out of the way of the Hornet. We don't have to worry about that too much. You are a jerk, though. Man, I'm starting to feel like even last run, I was lucky. Because these, these just feel impossible to deal with. Um... Yeah, you're dealing three. You're pulling there. Okay, that's fine. What's the attack order? So you will pull that hornet down, actually. That's very good news. So I, I can move both of these out of the way. Probably shoot this scarab with my artillery. Get you, I don't know where yet. You punch this scarab, killing it and putting these both at 2 HP. Maybe you actually come down here and punch this. So that you're blocking its attack against the building here. And then you, what are you doing? <laughs> you can move three tiles. One, two... I'm trying to think of any way I can make this not hit the building here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't actually take even a single damage, so we might be sitting here thinking for a while, actually. I mean, I can, I can just body block with this. I gotta remember that's a, a real option. With this scarab out of the way, I could actually body block with this as well. That seems good. Because this won't take damage from the body block. One, two, three. No, I can't. I, it can't move far enough. Even with the scarab out of the way. That's not an option. Uh, I don't see any way that I could, like, grapple down there either. Oh, you can move very far, so maybe. I'm pretty sure you would pull you, though, right? Like... Yeah, that, that pulls the other way. Okay.
I could also move you down, punch this, and then artillery here, slamming these two into each other, killing both of them. The Hornet being pulled down isn't important because all it was going to do is kill this anyway. So... I punch you, artillery here to slam these two into each other. And then I pull this upward a tile. You attack before this does. Yeah, I pull this up a tile so that it misses the buildings, I guess. Move you here, pull. Mm. It, it stops me from taking any damage, which is definitely important. It's like a, a complete requirement, actually. It kills two units, gets one pretty low. That might be the way to go. What do you do? You make enemies immune to fire, I believe. Protected from fire and leave fire on death. Right, right, right. Uh, I think that's okay. It's also, it's very, very difficult to kill Scions on Unfair, I have found. Like, the Scions often lurk for the entire battle. So, put you over here. Blast here. These two slam into each other. They're at 2 HP. You come down here, punch this. Both of these die. You're at 2 HP. You come right here, pull this upward. I think that's the play. I, I think that is where we're going with this. It actually leaves a rock on the map. I was wondering why they would make this... Sh like, it seemed like it was just a thematic difference, because I had seen something similar, I'm pretty sure. But okay, it actually leaves a fucking boulder on the map. I didn't realize that. Maybe I could have done something different before if I had. I don't know. That's definitely a lesson learned, I guess. You come on here. I don't know. Didn't I have, like, a substantially better turn? It would kill the Scarab. Yeah, the other turn killed the Scarab, but left those two alive with one HP. So I don't know if that's really better or not. Tough to say. Okay, so the Hornet, I can just pull into the smoke. This thing doesn't even matter, really. You don't matter too much, either. Not a huge amount. I kind of want to punch the Scion. Yeah, I think I still probably can't kill the Scion. I'm definitely seeing some issues with it. Three rocks? It is kind of sick, huh? Wait, what broke the rock? Did it go away after a turn? God, I wish I could, like, replay stuff. I wish I could rewind a couple turns, like, a, like, you know, chess.com or whatever. Uh... Artillery here. The rock gets planted. Um, I think I did that first, so I, I guess the electricity blasted the rock away. That's 
also a very good thing to think about is that the the rock conducts electricity okay so if i were to shoot right here for example i could put a rock here move you down pull you this way and then when i punch here it'll go zap zap my hook mech here zap the hornet here zap the rock here zap the scarab very interesting because i can't just shoot right here without slamming the hornet over i guess i could pull the hornet into the smoke and then slam but this seems very cool this seems like a fun way to do things i can also probably block vex spawns with this just stop spawning which seems pretty neato like having a ranged weapon that can just turn off a spawn tile when you have victory in two turns, that seems very powerful. <laughs> Honestly, I want to kill that fucking Scion. I hate that Scion. <laughs> You can't just hover in the corner the whole fight. I, just shut up. You're attacking here. Okay, that yeah, that's fine. We're we're body blocking. It's okay. <laughs> I want them to have to fear the fire. This goddamn hornet, man. <laughs> so hook friend right here. Pull the hornet down. That makes a nice chain from this to hook friend. To the hornet, to the scarab. We kill both of those. Um, I could artillery this. You are targeting hook friend who will not be there anymore. So you you, you don't have to be beaten this turn. That seems fine. Hello, Yaoi. Uh, yeah, I like that, I think. So you're here. Pull this down. I punch. It goes boom, 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 boom. Both of these die. You take one damage, but you're okay. And then you blow this up before it can hit the solar panel. And we love life. Seems good to me. I don't think there's any sneaky way to push this up at all, so we'll just not worry about that. Um, I will artillery you, like I was saying I would. Big rock. Oh, you know what? I could have put a rock here and connected this and this to the, the chain lighting. That is, this is actually a very cool squad. I've changed my mind about it, I like it a lot. This is a super neato squad. We pull you down. Oh, I see the problem. Right, it slams this nerd over. So I wasted my turn reset here, unfortunately, but That's what I get for making hasty decisions again. I always think I've finally gotten familiar enough with the game that I can just blast through a turn. But no. Forgot about technician being a thing, that's nice. I do need to remember that. You are targeting a building and I don't like that. I can just pull you to the side though, and it's fine. 
And then you're a thing. Yes. You've got 4 HP. Okay, I won't bother trying to kill you then. Will I? I could. No, you still have a pilot, so I don't want to chain anything through you. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not worry about it. There's nothing to worry about here. Everything's fine. I will rush through this turn once again, just like I was talking about doing last time. Just like I was saying, I regretted last time. It's fine. I'll just end the turn there. It's fine. Oof. Okay. Man, I, I really... Whenever I learn something new, I'm like, I wish I could replay such and such a mission. I, I, I really wish I could redo the first mission, knowing what I know now about the rocks. But I'm not sure it would have made that much difference. Uh... I got four grid defense there, though, which is kind of sick. That really does help. It sucks not getting any reputation from that, but I didn't get any reputation from this one either, so... Uh, fuck me, I guess. That's two areas done with no reputation. Okay, with, not, with my newfound hubris, I think I definitely go confront this area now. <laughs> Lightning mech. Yeah, yeah. Put it right here, I guess. Seems like a good spot. You're impulsive, so you can run all over pretty easily. I should maybe think about... Um, changing where my pilots are. I'm not sure the lightning mech is the best place for this to be. And by this, I mean Lily Reed. I'm not sure Lily Reed is reaching her fullest potential in the, the lightning mech. But we'll, we'll go with it for now. Let out a nice little hiccup while I'm at it. I can't look at their reach here. Five, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, I think I'm just out of reach of everything over here, which is nice. <laughs> okay, going straight for the coal plant, I see. You gotta love it. That is a very juicy... Uh, tight-knit group here, though, for me to lightning punch. And then I guess I would, uh, artillery this. So if I lightning punch right now, I guess I would want to move this out of the way somehow. What are you doing? You targeting me? Okay. Uh, so I lightning punch here. I can't move my artillery into a good position to hit this, unfortunately, because of the, uh, the train. The train will run into my boulder mech. <laughs> That's a bit difficult. I could move you down here and do the lightning punch, and then I can pull you over here. You've got three moves, so one, two, three, and... I mean, I could... I could at least shoot here and push this back a tile so that it's not hitting the coal plant. I wonder how the Scion is going to work here, if everything will drop fire or not. Yeah, the heckin' train again. My favorite.
where are you punching from? Like, you can't... I think moving you down here and punching this spot is the best. Lightning whip right here. So this scarab dies. That's nice, I guess. These go down to low HP. This hornet's dead. The scion's dead. Possibly fire gets left all over the place. I don't know yet. Um, you go down to 2 HP. <laughs> you run up here and push this over this way. Possibly into a fire. I don't know. Uh, and then what are you doing? What do I want out of you? <laughs> you might just be getting out of the way. I guess we want to know if fire is a thing first. I think... I think I want to move you so you don't get lightning punched for no reason. That could be pretty nice. <laughs> like, it's not the end of the world if you get lightning punched, but I don't want to just have it happen haphazardly for no purpose. <laughs> I am also realizing now that if I shoot this here, if I shoot a rock right here to slam this back, there will be a rock in the path of the train. <laughs> so maybe I could use the grappler to get that out of the way somehow? I can move you back here and shoot the rock down to this spot. You then come up here. No, the, the, the rock has to land here after the lightning punch. So you come down here and lightning punch it all. You come down here. Do not lightning punch it all yet. You come up here. You come up here. Then we lightning punch. We boulder here. This gets pushed back. And you pull the boulder out of harm's way. I'm gonna rush through this bad boy again. <laughs> Never stop rushing. Don't run through all the steps. Just get most of them. Or like uh, roughly half of them. It's okay. It's fine. Nothing matters. They did not leave fire. Good to note, they did not leave fire. Doom, 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 doom. Yes, train, I see you, I see you, I got you. Okay. That does leave these guys kind of stuck behind a rock, which is a little scary. But thankfully no one is spawning, so this turn should be very easy to just punch nerds. Well, no, they spread out, of course. I mean, they spread out a... I was gonna say they spread out a little, but in fact, they spread out a lot. It turns out. And I can't artillery anything, and I'm hemmed in by a rock and a train, so this is the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life. What is wrong with me? Help. I can't punch this because it kills the train and my units. Uh, I think pushing the train is probably also very bad. I don't know how that even works. Wait, no, it's immune to pushing. Supply train immune to pushing. Okay, so I can artillery this. There is then a boulder in the way. Uh, and, and it still dies because there's a boulder in the way. Good. Good. Love that. Love that. I think the train is completely fucked. I can shoot another boulder right here to push this boulder out of the way. Uselessly. Very good. Very good. 
Uh, yeah, I, I have really screwed myself over here, I think. I see absolutely no way to defend the train here. Wait. You come down, shoot a boulder here. The hornet gets pushed to the side. We're in fucking business, baby. And then this building probably dies. Yeah, because I can't get down there to do anything with it. And then what are you doing? I guess you're taking the long way around, just, just feeling sad. No, you probably come down here and wait for the train to move. Yeah. Next turn the train will get out of the way. And you can come down and maybe actually do something of value. <laughs> um. So push the push the hornet to the side. Yes. I guess punch the hornet. I don't see how to use the gastropod pole for anything of value. And then I think that building dies, no matter what I do. I think that building is very fucked. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could be like, fuck the train, and I could move my artillery up here, shoot a rock right here, and push that to the side. And that would save me grid power, but... I'm getting grid power anyway. I'm, I'm just... I would rather... Uh, I would rather actually get some fucking corporate reputation for once. So, one last time. Rock here. You get pushed to the side. I punch you. I probably move over this way and punch you so I'm a little closer to the action. And then you come down here and wait and be sad. Except that you can't go down there and wait because that's where the artillery will be. So you're just even sadder, really. But that's life. Get used to being sad. No handouts. Uh, come down here. Now watch me whip. And you wait right there instead. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent, my favorite. Uh, uh, goodbye, little building. I don't even have a 2% chance to pray for this time. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I should stop taking missions where there's an extra special thing for me to protect. Like, buildings, fine, I'll protect a coal plant. But if there's a land mover or a train or something, I should just not take that mission. Because this electric whip is unfucking manageable. I think with this squad, you just don't take those missions. The train cannot be pushed, I must remember. Yeah, what the hell do you do with the train, man? How do you stop this thing? There's two nerds attacking it right adjacent to it, and I can't hit them. Yeah, I think mission selection is a big weak point for me right now. That's definitely something I'm going to have to think about more going forward, where I've just gotten away with clicking on whatever has the highest rewards in the past. Which, you know, that, that makes sense. It's not very interesting of a decision to just click on whatever has the highest rewards every time. It's like that moment in Slay the Spire where you reach a high enough difficulty that you have to stop taking every single elite you see every t time everywhere. Sometimes you have to be like, I can't do that. Sometimes you have to heal at the campfire instead of upgrading, etc. Well, it's a harsh lesson, a difficult one to learn, but I think I am learning it. 
So these three are the ones that I actually give a shit about. And... You can come down here and pull the alpha gastropod. I don't think that's good enough. At all. But I could do it. I believe the train... I don't know, the defend has... The, the, I think the train has 2 HP, actually. I think both halves of the, of the train are a thing. So maybe pulling the Alpha Gastropod would be enough to save half the train. And then just let this get hit. Uh, I can artillery that. Can I artillery that? Yes. Yes, I can. No, no, I cannot. Because I would have to move you down here and pull this, meaning both of these tiles will be occupied. So that my boulder mech can only reach one, two, three. It can't go up here, and it, it can't be on these tiles to hit that. So... That might be another unavoidable city damage. I don't know if I can keep just taking damage like this all the time and not even getting any fucking reputation along the way. These missions are insane. Like, I just don't understand how you're supposed to manage this electric whip with this many enemies on every map. Every time I hit any of anything, like half the map lights up. <laughs> I guess if the probably the reason I didn't know the boulders were a thing, I'm assuming it's because I was shooting units. So, if I'm resigning myself to letting this get hit anyway, maybe I can shoot the front of the train with a boulder. It gets crushed just as it would be crushed by the gastropod. But then this gets pushed into the smoke and its attack cancelled. And then I can punch it and kill these three, including the scarab saving this building. And then I can pull this gastropod with the hook mech. I think that is my plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it is the plan that I will be using. <laughs> yeah, the train is damaged. Maglev's crippled, but it can be repaired. I don't know how it... Oh, it's not moving anymore. Okay, yeah, so I still don't even know all the train mechanics. Or maybe I do now, but I didn't. So it can take a damage. I guess when it crashes into something, it's not completely killed either. It would just take one damage. It can take a damage, and then it stops moving. I didn't know that. So we're still learning stuff like that. Lots of little weird nuances like that to pick up on, I suppose. You're zipping over here. I don't think I want you to zip over there. I think I'm going to keep you right where you are. And punch. <laughs> Hello, Anvar. I don't know why that died. I didn't I didn't see what killed that. 
at all. Was there a Vec spawning there or something? I hate missing stuff, man. Like, I look at chat for one second and I, I feel like I've missed important information that I maybe could have learned from. I don't know why it died. I don't think I set anything on fire. I guess it had to be a Vex spawn. Well, on the bright side, I am only missing one power grid, but on the downside, I have earned, like, the, the total that I have gained from all of this, I think is, like, one reactor core and one corporate rec rep point. Maybe a special weapon somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the tanks that I can't use because they take two reactor cores and I haven't gotten that yet. Destroy two mountains and kill at least seven enemies. Defend the prototype Renfield bombs. I am not going to do that because I think I will blow them up. I'm pretty sure my, my electric whip will blow them up. So we go for the scrapyard. I'm seeing, I'm paying attention now. Destroy two mountains and kill at least seven enemies. Destroying two mountains also seems extremely difficult though. <laughs> Kill at least seven enemies. Killing a bunch of enemies seems fine with my electric nonsense. And this looks like a nice layout too, actually. Let me look at something. I wish I had that building chain. That, that, that's probably a very nice upgrade once you stop doing terrible things. Um, sure, I could, I could look at what happened real quick. Here, I don't think I want you to zip over there. I think I'm going to keep you right where you are. Is there... There's got to be a... No, the other one attacked first? Yeah, the other one killed it. Okay. I just wasn't worried about that because it, it didn't actually affect anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, kill at least seven enemies. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to defend bombs. But it would... I think it's going to be very difficult to destroy two mountains with this squad because my lightning doesn't chain into mountains. And I don't want to be just spending turns firing artillery into mountains. So that seems very difficult as well. And I don't know for certain that my lightning chains to these bombs, they could be considered... I don't think they're considered buildings. Like, I don't think I could just artillery them if I had the building immunity on that. But I'm not sure, so I'm actually going to go here for the science. I'm going to learn if Renfield bombs are buildings. Better to learn now when my run is going horribly anyways <laughs> than to learn on a good run and screw myself over. Uh, sometimes learning is pain in a roguelike. Very often learning is pain in a roguelike. Uh, so we're just going to accept the pain for now. I suppose the fact that I hover on it and it says prototype bomb like that, the fact that it looks like a unit in the corner is probably all I really need to know. Uh, I think they do get blown up by my electricity, which is very bad news for me. But here we go. You can you can lurk in the water there. I don't care. Uh, I think I want you on this end. There's a bit more room for you to reach in and snag something, including the bomb. Maybe get the bomb out of harm's way. And then you just stay along this line. Ready to chuck your nukes across the map. <laughs> yeah, target me in the water. That's definitely where I will be ending my turn. I will just be chilling in the water the whole time. 
All right, let me let me see about this. They have successfully hemmed me into the water. Well, no, I have a billion moves, so I guess not. But let's see about this chain. It does chain into the Renfield bombs, which is disastrous. I mean, it's also very funny that I can hit that enemy that many enemies, but uh, it's it's quite bad, I think. I, I want to quit. <laughs> I want to give up. I am too tired for all this right now. I'm overwhelmed. Um, so you aren't doing anything. You're just shooting in the water like a dummy. You're killing my bomb, though. They're going to leave fire behind. You're blowing up a building. You're blowing up a building. So we've got two buildings and a bomb being targeted. I can push this into the water, which seems very good to me. I can pull you back two tiles, which would make you hit the bomb. I don't want that. <laughs> Can't really do anything with you. This is not massive, huh? Yeah, it can't fall in the water. So this is a horrible mission, as I suspected it would be, but we learned. In the future, I will not take the same horrible mission. The run is feeling a bit doomed again, though. I am very pessimistic at the moment. Do I give up a bomb to, to save? I, I think we have to keep letting the energy go since uh, they do give you twice as much energy now. I have to try and get some corporate rep or I will never make it through. <clears throat> so push this in the water still seems nice. You're, you're very annoying. I could run around and kill that. And then you would be able to go one, two, three. Or just one, two. So you'd be right here. You could pull this back one tile and it would be shooting a scion instead of the bomb. That seems good. Okay. So we can stop this gastropod from hitting the bomb. We can stop you from hitting a building. You don't do anything. And then you... Yeah, that's that's the perfect turn, I think. Uh, you take one damage, but I think we gotta live with that. Sweet flames, though. Very cool flames. Pull you back a tile so you're hitting the Scion. And push you into the drink. Sure. The boulder launcher is probably... It, it might be the most interestingly designed weapon I've seen so far. Particularly, like, in conjunction with the electric thing being on the team. It's a very, very interesting weapon design. <laughs> I'm still tempted to use it to just block Vex spawning. It seems awesome to do that. Uh... Might punch right here. Just blast this into oblivion. Do two damage to this. And then I could move you out of the way, maybe. Yeah, I could move you down to block this. And then I could shoot onto here. That would kill my prototype bomb, unfortunately. So maybe not. I could shoot you as well. 
Uh... I could block a spawn with the bomb. <laughs> Not super great. Like, I could shoot the, the Smoldering Scion. Block a spawn with the bomb. Slam the Gastropod into this so that it dies from the Lightning Whip. It's interesting that the Smoldering Scion dies as well, so they're not going to leave fire. So I can step down, blow up these, leave just a Gastropod behind. Move down here. I could pull this. Yeah, pull this over to block the spawn. I like that a lot. And then actually this won't be there anymore, it'll get... No, but this also gets electric whipped to death. Fuck. So maybe we don't even go for the gastropod. Maybe I do some nonsense here. I don't see how to not go for it, though. I don't know that that's really an option, to not go for it. Hmm. <laughs> I can ignore this if I want to. I can also pull it right here and it'll still be okay. <laughs> Ally immune isn't an option for this. What a shame. That would be so much better than one extra damage, I think. Assuming it works on objectives, I don't know if, if like, this would be considered an ally. Or if the train would be considered an ally. I'm really not sure. I could move you back a tile. Pull the gastropod. Punch you. Right here. Make a smoke tile, I guess. Uh, you take one damage. You take two. You die. This lives. The smoldering scion lives. Uh... I could move down and hit the Alpha Scarab. I could move way over here and block a uh, spawn. Mm -hmm. I can still ignore this Scarab if I so choose. <laughs> this spawn seems really difficult to deal with. I'm also finding it very difficult to believe that I'm actually going to keep this prototype bomb alive. I kind of want to just sacrifice it early to increase my chances of success with the other one. But maybe I'm being too pessimistic. I could also move you way up, pull this one, two, three tiles. I suppose I only need to move it two tiles, so I could set it on fire in the process. I could pull it up here, set it on fire, and cancel its attack. Uh, then what? Mm-hmm, 
<laughs> then I move here and get gastropod slapped on purpose. So I move over here and I gain my masochist bonus, maybe. <laughs> I mean, the only damage I actually have to stop this turn is this scarab. And that would do the trick. I'd set it on fire. I'd be in a really not useful position with my hook mac. But I guess that can always, like, grab something on the other side of the map and fly across, I guess? I don't know. Like, if there's nothing on these tiles, then you can just shoot into the mountain, which is weird. I think this is very questionable. But it means nothing takes any damage. Mm. And we keep all our bombs. I don't know. It's it's a tough level. These are tough bonus objectives to work with here. Guess I'm just blowing you up. I could punch here to kill that, but it doesn't actually matter because it's not attacking. And, uh, the next turn it'll burn to death. So it'll matter if it blocks my movement, I suppose. I, I tend to kind of underrate the seriousness of that. Okay, a bigger, scarier gastropod, sure. And a hornet. And my Renfield bombs are in a terrible place. Okay, the hornet moved somewhere that I can at least artillery it and do something useful. And you're targeting only one city, which is nice. One building, whatever. <laughs> do I let you have a building? You're also, I guess, only hitting one building, so it might be better to hit this and shove this boulder out of the way while I can. This shit is still positioned awkwardly so that the Scion will lightning me and I'm mad about it. You, for some reason, are not damaged. The smoldering scion, dude. It doesn't burn to death. Oh, no. Attack order. The scarab goes before either of the gastropods, so I can't let them yoink the scarab away. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can make it over here to pull this and break the chain to this bomb. Not the most useful thing in the world, honestly. Being completely real with you, it's not it's not great. I think I am just gonna pull you up again. Waste your turn again. Nothing else is spawning this turn. So these are all the enemies we're dealing with for the rest of the round. We've got one, two, three grid health potentially being lost here. So that's what I'm trying to do is stop three grid damage. On this side, all I've got to do is neutralize this scarab. And then on this side, uh, I, I'm not sure these, I'm not sure either of these can help over here. So we might just be giving up one building 
In which case, I would probably want to artillery the Alpha Scarab. <laughs> There's punching this nerd. There is pulling this nerd forward a tile so that it doesn't hit anything. Again, attack order is not on our side here. Uh, yeah, I really don't see a way for the hook mech or the the lightning mech to help over there. Lightning mech has like more mobility than it should, I guess, but not that much mobility. And there's a lot of shit in the way. <laughs> so I think we're just taking one damage, unfortunately. We're leaving a hornet alive. <laughs> Cancel your attack. Uh, get out of the way and I guess punch this fucker. Put yet another boulder into play. No, I guess I guess that doesn't put it into play. Even if the enemy is killed by the boulder, it still blows up first. Okay, good to know, I guess. Uh, yeah, we, we take one building damage. It happens, though. Fucking Scion Fire Protection. Don't have Scion Gastropod Protection. Didn't think about that, did ya? No, leave the bomb alone! Stop it! I hate you. I'm gonna just yoink you over here so that you attack a mountain pointlessly. How about that, stupid? How's that sound, you big dummy? You idiot. I gotta slow down a little, but I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, it's actually a very simple turn for once, for real. I'm gonna rush it. I'm not gonna run through it all. I'm too smart for that. We're just gonna fucking yoink this nerd across the water, get drowned, dummy. Then I'll punch you again. Everything's on fire. The bombs are safe. I did it. I only took one grid damage. I think that's pretty nice, considering that this was an unfavorable mission for me, in my opinion. One that I took for science. And the science ended up being very much not in my favor. Seismic activity. Alright, well, uh... I'm, I'm gonna engage in some stretching.